Our band is called Dead Horses. I grew up in Oshkosh. Yeah, and I'm from Berlin. Growing up in the church and singing a lot of hymns and music was just very much a part of daily life. I recently saw like an old family video and I'm probably like two. I couldn't even talk yet, but I'm stumbling around just singing, just singing notes. In 2010, I had moved back to Oshkosh from Milwaukee. I dropped out of school, quit my job, um, quit hanging out with many of my friends even. It was, it was a really, really hard time in my life. I was just angry and it was kind of like all of the teenage angst that I had pent up my entire life, um, trying to be the strong one in my family especially. Um, you can't just push that under a rug, it will come back. And it did for me and everything kind of broke. And I got back to Oshkosh and ran into some old friends of mine that I had played music with. Um, and they had met Dan. And they asked me if I wanted to be in a band and I'm like, well, I, I'm doing nothing else right now and there's nothing more than I would like than that. Um, so we started playing music, you know, it was like weekly, like 50 bucks, free beer and food. And we would just, just jam and we would play all night, every night. We must not lose sight. We must not lose sight. I just loved it so much right away. I didn't want to stop. And I think um, probably about two years in, we were starting to do tours and stuff and traveling and being on the road. And I definitely had a point then where I was like, this is what I want to do. Like realizing that it, you can make it work and you have to just work really, really, really hard. There's no like magical formula to it. It's just play as often as you can, be good to people and try to make better and better music. We had gone down to uh, Tennessee to play a festival called Jammin' at Hippie Jacks. That's actually where we met Ken Coomer, who is a producer for our record. He, he was in Uncle Tupelo and Wilco, so he, has a ton, he had a ton of experience touring um, in a very successful band and project, and he had a lot of experience recording as well. It's got a little bit of a Nashville shine to it, I think, but um, he really encouraged us to, to play the way that we did live. I take pride in what Sarah is writing. It, it is beautiful music. It is a message that is easy to jump right on board and be like, I fully support this. Hope is always a huge theme. It is okay to suffer, and you have to accept that you're going to suffer. Pierce me with your sin, pierce me with your soul. We have traveled a lot now nationally, and it's just gonna be more and more like that. In mid-January, we leave for a three-month tour, and that'll be the longest that we've done yet. I really wanna reach out to everybody, and especially now, looking at what's happening in the country and in the world, such crazy things. It's very reminiscent of like the 60s and folk music has been this huge instrument of change and grassroots movements and that's what's coming back again. So I do feel kind of like a responsibility to really craft what I'm saying to be the right message. Music at its best it draws people together and that's what I'm seeing I think happening. <laughs>